Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It may or may not be 11 p.m., but we are going to get this video in. So we are making peppered steak, which is a staple in a lot of different households. I think it's traditionally a Chinese recipe, but I'm not going to make it that way. I'm making it based on how my grandmother used to make it back in the day. Because this is 2024, we're going to be making this with a recipe that AI gave me and they came through. So for this recipe, we're going to need our vital wheat, gluten, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, soy sauce, vegetable broth, tomato paste, olive oil, more soy sauce, balsamic vinaigrette, garlic, minced, smoked paprika, smoked paprika, black pepper, something to serve it with. So the star of the show for this is the Vital Wheat Gluten Flour, RIP, Bob from Bob's Red Mill. This is like full gluten. It's what makes breads chewy for a fourth of a cup. It has 23 grams of protein, which is like pretty cool. Another common vegan cooking staple is nutritional yeast, which if you guys haven't heard of it, it's like almost cheesy, umami. I add it to a lot of my like tofu scrambles and anything I'm like maybe chili or something, anything I want to kind of thicken a little bit. And it's also really good. It has B12, which is essential for all of us. In a large mixing bowl, combine the vital wheat gluten, the nutritional yeast, garlic powder, onion powder, and smoked paprika. The cool thing about vital wheat gluten is that the flavor is pretty neutral, kind of like tofu. So whatever spices you add to it, it will taste like that. It says, in a separate bowl, whisk together the vegetable broth, soy sauce, tomato paste, and olive oil. It says, stir it until the dough forms. The point of the kneading is to, like, stretch out the seitan and give it more texture. This is what it's looking like. It looks like a monster. So now it says to divide the dough into four equal parts and shape it into a steak-like shape. It's kind of like really stretchy and like thick, which is good. This is what we want. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Then next I'm gonna make the marinade. This is what the steaks are gonna sit in for 30 minutes, which I don't know if we have that time tonight. Minced garlic, which I have not minced any garlic, so I'm just going to do garlic powder. And it says to shape these like steaks, which is an interesting concept. I think like that's fine. just while we wait for the steak to finish marinating, um, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit. My inspiration for this video was my grandmother who used to cook for us all the time when we were growing up. Like she watched us when we were kids because both my parents like worked full-time jobs in the office. So she was always there to take care of me, my brother, my sister, and my cousins. And we have like really core memories all together. And I definitely feel like she is part of the reason why I enjoy being in the kitchen and enjoy cooking. And honestly, it's really just a hobby for me. I recently started a new Instagram account. I have so many at this point, but this one, I want to post vegan type content and non, not non-vegan, but like stuff that has nothing to do with vegan. Um, I just want to post like more like as a page and rather just as me. And then I wanted to create something that I can have like contributors with to I'm, like leaning on my sister to take videos for me, like when she goes somewhere. Um, and then like, I want to eventually have other people making videos for this page. So it's called vegan on the menu. If you guys want to follow, I have like, I don't know, 10 videos so far or something, but I try to post one every day. I would say my goal right now is to keep posting on this channel and then growing my vegan on the menu. And then also just like posting more on TikTok. I've been doing that recently and it's actually been really fun. Just like posting kind of whatever I want. 
I have always wanted to do YouTube. That's like just always been the thing I come back to. And it feels good to like be consistent. I'm going to try to post a video every week. I think it's time for us to fry up these steaks. My grandma would always serve this with rice, usually. I've also had it with pasta, but this time I'm doing mashed potatoes. So let's try it, I'm super excited. It's gonna be so hot. It's so good. Okay, good night guys. <laughs>